Hello and welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald and today I'm going to show you how to make a kind of sculptural arrangement and we're going to use this piece of wooden sculpture which I got in a charity shop. We've got some hypericum berries, some craspadia and I've got these little button croissants as well. So as I say I got this in a charity shop, it was quite cheap and basically it's a piece of wood on a stand and it has this hole in the centre. So this enclosed space is really interesting, but what I thought was we could do something within that and then really make this into a sculpture without having to make a sculpture from, from scratch. So what I've done is I've taken some oasis, cut it to shape, and I've put a little bit of film around the edge and then slotted that in. So that film is really just to protect the wood from the water. So we're just going to use a knife and just start building this up. So what I did was I've kind of recessed the the foam so that we've um, we're not sticking right out so it just makes it easier. And I've got two different types of hypericum. I've got one that's a kind of salmony pink and this one that's more of a browny colour just to get a bit of contrast and I think what we're looking for is colours that really tone quite well with the wood. So we've got a natural, natural product, we want to pick up on that and do something that's sympathetic with that. Now the Craspedia have got great stains, but just using them clustered like this gives a different effect. So really very simple, but it's seeing the potential in a container as to what you can do. Now the good thing with a knife is it gives you a nice clean cut. And the same with the Craspedia, you can cut them quite easily. Now you could fill this with any type of flowers, it's up to you what your colours are. I quite like the colours that are kind of autumn-y and sympathetic with wood, but you could really go in a totally different direction. The wood would just be a background really to what you're wanting to create. Now we can also use these just a little bit longer and overlay them onto what we're doing. So it can stick out and it has a little bit of depth as well. Now, there's a few more pieces of hypericum. And that really is pretty straightforward. Now, what I've done is I've done both sides, so we're getting something that's really interesting. And I think this is nice, but what we had was we had a sculpture that had a piece of enclosed space. So what I want to do is just use a little bit of Maybelline now um, to create a little bit more of that enclosed space. So we're going to make this have a little bit more of a dimension. Now this is a bit, a bit interesting. We don't know what kind of direction it's going to go in until we start. I think we can keep it quite simple actually. So you could really have fun playing with this, this idea and with the materials that you're going to use. Now, it's quite a clean look, so I'm not going to do any more than that, but that really is your simple sculpture arrangement. Thank you for watching, my name is John McDonald and please subscribe to see more of our videos.